despite a little bit of a winter weather scare, the polar bear plunge went on as planned at Sandy Point State Park. More than 7,000 people continued the tradition of jumping into the chilly Chesapeake Bay to raise money for Special Olympics Maryland. And plungers did not disappoint. The shouts and cheers come from a place of being freezing cold and pure joy. <laughs> Regardless of the conditions, plungers don't hesitate to say it's all worth it. It was really rainy last night, and it's a little bit of ice, maybe a little bit of sleet. Uh, a lot different than last year. Last year was super snowy and very difficult. Um, but regardless, you know, the, the water may be cold, but our hearts are warm because of what we're able to do for those athletes. Super plungers started on Friday and took a dip once an hour, every hour for 24 hours. Saturday, thousands more joined in. In some ways, it's like a big party. Many plungers even come dressed in their most creative costumes. And the whole point is to raise money for Special Olympics Maryland. Since the plunge started in 1997, it's raised more than $20 million for athletes and their programs all year long. Well, it's really cool, and it really demonstrates the, the assimilation and the inclusive nature of what we do. When our athletes, we had 10 athletes in there throughout the course of the day yesterday and, and, and over the 24-hour period. And it, it's the best that Maryland has to offer, where people come together all to support those athletes. The people that are here are some of the best individuals you will ever meet. It's an incredibly bonding experience to do something like this of 24 hours, and you're challenged physically, you're ch challenged mentally, and you get to know these people and form these bonds that are lasting forever. So great. WBAL is a proud sponsor of the Polar Bear Plunge. We're hoping to have an update on how much this year's plunge raised coming up later tonight.